Welcome back. Screening tomorrow night at the Paramount is the latest film as a part of the Kemp's film series called Lucky. Joining us today to talk about it, Terry Ann Wilson and Tom Friedman and Nicholas, who is going to engage our uh, our guests as well, right? Hi, guys. Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a film that has... Uh, it's, it's very interesting because the, the main character, of course, has passed away uh, just over a month and a month and yeah, a half ago. Two yes. weeks before this film was uh, released for wide distribution. Mm -hmm. yeah. So give us the brief recap, Terri Ann. Well, here is a, an elderly man who has basically outlived, outsmoked all of his contemporaries <laughs> and he uh, takes a fall and uh, ends up in the doctor's office and as he's ailing he needs to begin contemplating existence. He's a, of course an atheist so this sort of adds a, an element to the story as he's edging closer and closer to um, the inevitable end of his life. He's, he's basically on a search for enlightenment in this middle of nowhere desert town. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom, yeah. what, what, ha what are the, some of the twists in this? Well, I think the twist is that this is actually a really interesting portrayal of the actor who plays Lucky. Mm -hmm. This is an actor, Harry Dean Stanton, who came to fame uh, way back in the 50s and 60s playing in the old Western TV series like Rawhide and the Wild Wild West, made a real name for himself as this rugged, a character actor, you know, the, the guy that comes in is hard bitten, uh, been living out on the rough in the bush. And he continued that tradition right through his whole career. Mm -hmm. He was cast in uh, the famous Twin Peaks movie. Uh, that David Lynch directed. And those mm -hmm. of us who remember the TV series remember the character that Harry Dean Stanton played. Mm -hmm. um, this is a first time directorial debut by this John Carroll Lynch, who uh, is a well-known actor. He's appeared right uh, across all acting venues. And I think it's, I, I would call it a kind of love story for mm -hmm. Harry Dean Stanton. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the fact that both of the character and the actor were, you know, in their early 90s. And it's an opportunity to really look at what it means to grow, to grow old and to start confronting, as Terry Ann says, the reality of mortality. Absolutely. Yeah. We have the trailer. We're going to take a quick look at that. Realism is the practice of accepting a situation as it is. What you're saying is what you see is what you get. But what you see is not what I get. They call me lucky. President Roosevelt escaped. How does a hundred-year-old tortoise escape? I hope he turns up soon for Howard's sake. I got this anxiety attack. I fell. Lucky fell down. Let's not make a production out of it. No sign of concussion. Lungs are great even though you smoke. You get much exercise. I walk around all the time. I do five yoga exercises every day. Nice outfit there, cowboy. I was scared to death. I started thinking there's nothing out there. It's all black. The void. Este amor apasionado anda torvo el borrotado por momentos. A little bit of uh, comic uh, mixed in with the sort of some fairly serious issues, and you know, interestingly, of course, he passed away just 45 days ago or so. So. Uh, kind of poignant as it comes to the film's topic. Yeah, and it's uh, really lovely that a lot of the people acting in the film are also very, like Ed Begley Jr., for example, uh, who plays a physician. He's, the, these people, Tom Skerritt, all very, very good friends with him in life. So That's awesome. this is a very meaningful project for everybody involved. And a swan, swan song of sorts yeah. for him. Yeah, swan exactly, song. and the fact that David Lynch uh, is also in the film, mm -hmm. in a small role, a yes. real role, but a role that obviously, you know, is a tribute to Harry Dean Stanton. Yes. So, this is playing tomorrow night at the Paramount. As always, tickets are available three different ways, at Movie Mart, at the door, or online, and that yeah. online is countlessfilmseries.ca. Right, and, and I hope people realize Movie Mart is now moved. We're talking about that, yes. yeah. And what's the new location? 367 St. Paul. Okay, good yeah. to know. Yeah. Uh, anything else you guys want to add? I think we're just about out of time. We're getting uh, geared up, of course, for the end of our fall series, which ends next Thursday. We'll be on 
in six days with you next Tuesday. Okay. And it's a film called After the Storm. Okay. And then, of course, the people can look forward to After Christmas, the winter series. Okay, more to come. And we'd love to see you come out to the film. Nicholas, come out. Come, we'd love to see you come out to the fall film series. We've got some great films, so maybe something a little different than you usually see. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Normal, he's up, uh, up, the, up the hill watching the action adventure, right? right. Well, I think you'd like some of these films. They're it's, pretty cool. That's right. Yeah. You guys, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you so thank much. You. Uh, so welcome. Lucky, uh, screening tomorrow night, 7 o'clock at the Paramount Theatre. CamelopsFilmSeries.ca. We're back after a quick break. Stay with us.